Let me ask you about Butler, who's back in the Sweet 16 for the first time since 2011, and Chris Holtman is saying that his players are playing without an agenda and playing the Butler way. What does Coach mean by that? Well, the Butler way is kind of what Butler University has, has picked up, Alexa, is their their phrase. Going all the way back to Barry Collier, the first coach that really got them into the tournament, then he left for Nebraska, and then there's just been this, I mean, it's really pretty unbelievable. You go from Collier to Fad Mata, from Mata to Todd Licklider, from Licklider to Brad Stevens, from Stevens to Holtman, with Brandon Miller in between there. But what the whole idea is, and every team says this, right? I mean, let's be honest. Every team says, oh, we're a team. We don't worry about an individual. But it really is true with Butler. Butler is one program that has been able to put together that their sum is better than any of the individual parts. And, and that really is true when you look at the recruiting standpoint. Now, the recruiting has escalated since they got into the Big East. I mean, this is not your 10-year-ago Butler team that's a bunch of little plucky kids from small-town Indiana that all believe in each other. I mean, they've got some pretty nice talent. But they still play very unselfishly, and they do everything in kind of the genuine, true team defense and spreading the ball around team offense concept. Keelan Martin has been a nice scorer for them this year. I mean, they, they've changed that a little bit. But the idea being the mentality that the name on the front, you know, pick the cliche, right? The name on the front is more important than anything on the back. But that's what Butler has bought into. And, and I think the other thing about Butler that's interesting, now they're out of the Big East now, but I think people still think like, oh, cutesy little Butler. Well, look, this is a big-time program now in a big-time conference. I mean, they're coming out of the Big East. They beat Villanova twice this year. But even still, I think that they know in the back of their minds, and as long as they can continue to say the Butler way, the Butler way, that plants in the mind of a North Carolina, well, this is a group that has to – they have to follow some sort of weird team mantra just to, just to have a chance because – they're still like the Hickory Hoosiers. Well, they're not, but as long as you present it that way, then I think that what you're doing is forcing your opponent to maybe in the back of their minds think, well, they've got to have a rally and cry just to have a chance. Mm -hmm. And then you kind of underestimate them a little bit. All right. Uh, that said, where does Butler possibly have an edge over North Carolina? Well, I think that's it. First off, North Carolina's got a lot of size, and they got a lot of athleticism within that size. Butler's going to have to shoot the ball well, number one. But I think what Butler does as well as anybody in college basketball is they force you to play what, how they want to play. If Butler wants to get into a half-court game, they're going to play a half-court game. I think they know that they probably can't out-athleticize out North Carolina. So Butler does that very well. They force you. They did it with Villanova. They force you to play their style of play. So if they can get in, slow it down a little bit, run half-court sets, that's what they're going to have to do. They're going to have to take the air out of the ball, I think, against Carolina. And in addition to that, you can't get in foul trouble inside against Carolina. Look, if they play ten times, Carolina probably beats them six, maybe seven. But in the NCAA tournament, you only got to play once, right? So it's amazing when you look at that bracket and you think you see Carolina, UCLA, Kentucky, Butler. You know, I mean, you think, really? <laughs> you know, it's, it's – and, and I'll tell you guys, I mean, growing up in Indiana, I live literally six blocks from the Butler campus. And still, I think to myself, wait a minute, really? Like, this is a program that, that goes to Sweet 16s and went to back-to-back -back Final Fours? It still is very surreal. And I live right in the heart of it.